Hi everybody! So I did this round mixed media piece a while back. This is one of the things that got unearthed in my studio cleaning. I use some crackle paste, it's in my Amazon shop if you're interested. This is the Golden Brands crackle paste and you can see the difference. It has a cool little texture to it and I really like how it turned out. Um, Real quick, I want to say thank you so much to my patrons, and your support is awesome. If you want to be a patron, there's a tip jar in the description box. You can leave a little tip, even a small donation helps the channel keep going. And I appreciate each and every one of you for sharing and subscribing, and thanks for watching. So this 16 inch round, you can see I tried adding, so I added some bronze, some turquoise, and some white to it and I just didn't like it <laughs> and I didn't know what to do with it so literally it just got filed away in my studio and then as you may have heard in my last video I cleaned my studio out and this came out and I thought I need to do something with it so I've been toying around with this idea of using Floetrol as a base coat instead of like a white so that's what I did. Now I'm not the first person to do this. There's a couple artists I've seen um, use this method for their paintings, but I wanted to try it using my balloon rolls. And I've been experimenting off and on for like six months with this and never really had anything that I loved. So I didn't ever show a video for it because, you know, if you have a crappy painting, you know, <laughs> and it doesn't work, who wants to show anybody, right? So uh, this one though, it did turn out and I'm pretty happy about the way it turned out. So basically I just put a layer of Floetrol, that's just Floetrol, it's not white paint, it's nothing, just basically Floetrol. And then these are the colors that I used, copper, white, turquoise, gold, and extreme sheen aquamarine. So I kept it pretty simple because there's the bronze, the white, and the blue underneath that, as well as the black. Uh, well, I think it's it was like a grayish black base. And then I just put a little teeny, teeny, tiny flip cup. And I use the flow trawl just like you would if you were gonna do a flip and drag for with white or black or any other base paint. I use the flow trawl as the base. Kind of, you know, of course, I'm unsure to a point of what I'm going to get. I have tried this with gloss medium. I tried it with matte medium. And I tried it with flow trial before with mixed results. But I was always trying to do balloon rolls. So this time I thought, you know, I'm not going to try to do any balloon rolls. I'm just going to do um, something that doesn't disrupt that layer very much. Because I find the balloon rolls, they just kind of dissipated. Um... And so I wanted to do something that didn't really disrupt the flow trial layer too much. So you can see, even my best efforts, I do have varying degrees of thickness of flow trial. You can see it's a little thicker in the center and a little thinner on the outside. But I decided I'm going to do a second flip and drag. Now, am I keeping in mind what's under there? Yes and no pretty cup right there. Um, I am keeping in mind, but obviously I can't totally see what's under there. I have a memory of it, and I did take a photo. Um, but at the same time, you know, you're kind of doing this blindly because you have no idea, you know, exactly where things are going. So my plan is to keep the colors simple keep them complementary with the ones that are underneath and um, yeah that's really what I decided to do pretty lacing I got there but that's that flow trial and I you know people use a lot of different pouring mediums to get a lot of different effects I stand by the flow trial <laughs> it's really an awesome pouring medium and I added nothing else to this now the composition was a little off, see how it's kind of all on one side there a little bit, so instead of tilting, which 
I think would have disrupted some of those beautiful lacing patterns. I decided to just add a little teeny tiny, um, yeah, that's what I did. I don't even know what you call that, but it's basically a teeny, 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 tiny puddle <laughs> with the three colors. And then I just used my airbrush and blew it out a little bit. So you can see when I'm tilting where that flow trial is. And then I went back with my popsicle stick and a little bit of turquoise and I added some depth. You know me. Gotta add the highlights and the lowlights of everything, and this is how I did it. So you can always go back when you're done and add some little highlights and lowlights if you like. A little more gold right there I thought would be pretty, you know. So that's, that's a good way to do it. And that's the final wet result. It's so pretty. It almost looks bloom, bloomy. I've never done the Shelly art uh, bloom style. Um, I wasn't trying for that, but I do see that, <laughs> that y'all affected me anyway, because <laughs> I see a lot of influence right there, kind of the bloom influence, and I didn't really spin it at all. This was just the flip and drag and the result of the flow trial. So I really like it. Actually, I would have liked it if that was a white base right there. I would have been totally happy. Look at all the pretty little details under the light. You can see the copper just kind of shimmering. I thought it turned out really pretty. But was it? I was very excited to see how it was going to dry, of course, as the other layers come through. So after one day, this is the result. You can see there's still a lot of flow trawl. All the white part is still flow trawl, but the crackle is starting to come through and you can see the bronze. Um, but yeah, still wet, lots of flow trawl. And then here is the two day dry. And you can see there's still just a little bit of cloudiness there, just a tiny bit. But all of the crackle is coming through. Look at that, isn't that fun? The, the whole thing is, it's just really interesting. So it went from the first layer, and when I added the blue after that, of course, and then the second layer, and then the final layer. Is it the final layer? Should I do another layer? I've thought about doing another layer. Tell me what you think in the comments if I should. And I look forward to making more art videos for you guys. Thanks so much, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.